Are you planning a trip to Detroit, Michigan and looking for something fun to do? Well, in this video, Travel Pug is going to show you the best things to do in Detroit and help you have an unforgettable experience. Let's get started. One of the best ways to get your bearings in Motor City is by taking a walking tour. Forget what you've heard. Detroit's got charm, character, and a rich, tumultuous history that's begging to be explored. Whether it's the Art Deco skyscrapers that punctuate the skyline or the labyrinth of urban art in the alleyways, there's a lot more to Detroit than cars and Motown. A walking tour offers the perfect pace to soak in the city's grit and grandeur, with plenty of opportunities to snap some Instagram-worthy shots. A trip to Detroit would be incomplete without a visit to the Detroit Institute of Arts, a genuine cultural treasure in the heart of the city. With an impressive collection that spans continents and millennia, it's easy to get lost in a day's worth of gazing at the stunning works of Degas, Rembrandt, Van Gogh, and Detroit's own Rivera. It's time to take a breather and soak up the city vibes at Campus Martius, Detroit's beating heart and everyone's favorite urban chill spot. This vibrant park is a testament to Detroit's spirit of resilience and rejuvenation, and there's always something happening here. From the sandy beach and lush green spaces in the summer to the enchanting ice skating rink in the winter, Campus Martius is a year-round delight. Before we tell you more about Detroit, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Travel Pug. Next on the list, we've got a rhythm-infused time machine, the Motown Museum. Housed in the original headquarters of Motown Records, this modest building on West Grand Boulevard is where Barry Gordy and his legendary Motown sound changed the course of music history. As you wander through Studio A, the very room where the Supremes, the Temptations, Stevie Wonder, and Marvin Gaye laid down some of their biggest hits, you'll feel the groove seeping from the walls. Next, we're taking you to a scenic waterfront promenade that's a dream for every ambler, cyclist, or anyone looking to soak in some fresh air and fantastic views. The Detroit Riverwalk. Stretching over five miles along the Detroit River, the Riverwalk offers breathtaking vistas of the city skyline and our Canadian neighbors across the water. It's a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll, a morning jog, or a bike ride. Get ready for a nature-inspired delight on Detroit's own island oasis, Belle Isle, a gym tucked away in the Detroit River. Belle Isle is a 982-acre state park, brimming with green spaces, scenic trails, and recreational activities. Here, you can explore the Belle Isle Aquarium, home to a variety of aquatic species from around the globe, or marvel at a tropical paradise in the Belle Isle Conservatory housing exotic plants and a spectacular orchid collection. For the food enthusiasts among you, how about a tasty showdown at Detroit's iconic Coney Island hot dog joints? As the name suggests, the Coney Island Hot Dog Challenge is a culinary adventure that pits two of the city's best hot dog stands against each other, American Coney Island and Lafayette Coney Island. Nestled side by side, these legendary establishments have been serving up the city's signature Coney Dogs for over a century. Both proclaim they're the best, but the verdict is a matter of personal taste. For our next adventure, we're stepping into an outdoor wonderland of urban transformation, the Heidelberg Project. This open-air art environment in the heart of the city's east side is the brainchild of artist Tyree Guyton. His vision, to inspire people to appreciate and use artistic expression to enrich their communities. The Heidelberg Project is a vibrant, colorful, and an eclectic mix of found objects and painted houses, a powerful commentary on urban decay and rebirth. It's a testament that art isn't confined to galleries or museums, but exists in every corner of life. Here, you'll find everything from a polka-dotted house to a street clock made from a painted old boat. And now, for an iconic Detroit experience that's as functional as it is fun, ride the people mover. This automated transit system, a monorail of sorts, zips around downtown Detroit, offering a unique perspective of the city's skyline and key landmarks. 
with 13 stations connecting various parts of the city center. It's a convenient way to navigate around, especially if you're on a tight schedule. But here's the kicker. Each station is adorned with artwork, making the people mover, not just a ride, but a moving art gallery. Next, on our Detroit adventure, we're off to the vibrant and bustling Eastern Market, a veritable feast for the senses. This historic marketplace has been the epicenter of Detroit's food scene since the 1800s. Every Saturday, the market transforms into a lively scene bursting with fresh produce, artisanal goods, and local delicacies. It's more than just a place to shop. It's where you can savor the flavors of Detroit, one bite at a time. Time for the next stop on our Detroit journey, one that will literally take you to new heights, the Renaissance Center, fondly known as the Ren Sen. This towering complex of seven interconnected skyscrapers stands as an iconic symbol of Detroit's resurgence. The highlight, the Detroit Marriott at the Rensen, the tallest all-hotel skyscraper in the Western Hemisphere. While here, make sure to catch a ride in the glass elevator to the 73rd floor for an awe-inspiring panoramic view of the city and beyond at the GM Renaissance Center's coach insignia. A trip to Detroit is not complete without a magical cruise on the Detroit Princess. A majestic riverboat with four decks, stunning chandeliers, and a grand staircase. It's a floating palace where you get to savor the breathtaking city skyline from the Detroit River. But this isn't just scenic ride. The Detroit Princess is all about providing top-notch entertainment. With live music, dancing, and themed cruises, there's always a party on board. And let's not forget the fantastic dining options. Gourmet buffet dinners that make every cruise a feast for your palate. And finally, no trip to Detroit would be complete without a visit to the crown jewel of the city's rich history, the Henry Ford Museum. This sprawling complex isn't just a museum. It's a journey through America's past, where the spirit of innovation is alive and well. From the bus where Rosa Parks took a stand to the Ford Model T, the car that put America on wheels, each exhibit tells a powerful story of revolution and progress. The museum, also home to the Presidential Limousine Collection, featuring the very car in which JFK was assassinated. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the best things to do in Detroit. Motor City, a city that serves up history, creativity, and innovation with a side of genuine Detroit grit. Now, here's a question to ponder as you plan your trip. Would you rather lose yourself in the vibrant energy at Eastern Market, soak in the panoramic city views from the towering heights of the Rensen, or relive history at the Henry Ford Museum? Let us know in the comments.